English fleet won a decisive battle over the Spanish Armada off the coast of Gravelines in northern France. The Wilmot Proviso, an attempt to prohibit the extinction of slavery to new territories in the United States, was proposed and in a debate that followed, the Republican Party was born. American physicist Ernest Orlando Lawrence, winner of the 1939 Nobel Prize for Physics for his invention of the Silotron, the first particle accelerator, to achieve high energies was born in Can Canton, South Dakota. Jazz musician Benny Carter, an original and influential alto saxophonist who was also a mas masterly composer and arranger and an important band leader, trumpeter, and clarinet clarinetist was born in New York City. The United States, the Soviet Union, the United Kingdom, and France signed the London Agreement, which authorized the Nunberg Trails, in which former Nazi leaders were indicated and, or I'm sorry, indict, indicted and tried as war criminals by the International Mil Military Tribunal. Henry H. Wallace resigned from the Progressive Party in a dispute over the adaptation by it of the Soviet line in on Korea. Armed robbers sold, stole 2.6 million pounds from the Glasgow London Royal Mail train near Bridgerow Bridge north of London in the Great Train Robbery. Faced with near certain prospect of impeachment for his role in the Watergate scandal, U.S. President Richard M. Nixon announced his resignation on this day in 1974 and was succeeded by Gerald Ford the following day. Swiss tennis player Roger Federer, who came to be regarded as one of the sport's greatest players, was born. The U.S. men's Olympic basketball team, which had been dubbed the Dream Team because of an all-star roster of NBA players that included Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, and Larry Bird, defeated Croatoa to win the gold medal at the Barcelona Games. The wreckage of Hunley, a Confederate submarine that was lost during the American Civil War, was raised from the ocean floor near Sullivan's Island, South Carolina. It was the su first submarine to sink in 1864. An enemy, enemy ship, the Union Sloop, Houstonic Tibetan scholar Lao Tseng Tsengai was inaugurated as Prime Minister of the Tibetan government in exile, becoming the first non-monk and the first person born outside 
the bet to hold the position.